Though airstrikes seem to be keeping Islamic militants from gaining additional ground in the Middle East, a new fictional thriller hitting bookstores this week examines the terrifying question, what if ISIS obtained chemical weapons? The third target, author and former advisor to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Joel Rosenberg, joins us with another thrilling book. And having done extensive research on this for years, he joins us now. Joel, always good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you, Shannon. And, you know, we always talk about those of us who enjoy your books. Um, critics and lovers of your books alike admit that you seem to be very prescient. You almost have a gift for writing about things mm. uh, as they're unfolding and as they come in the future. And I know you had started the, the threads, the idea of this novel, um, before Americans knew what ISIS was. And it seems like right. it was an exact match for the story you wanted to try to tell. Well, I, I, I try to write novels about... Uh, threats that could be coming up over the horizon, you know, and, and to give us a sense of what what could that be like if, if it were happening, you know, God forbid. I'm not trying to write, I'm not trying to predict things in the novel uh, that I write. I'm trying to warn and, and sort of take people into this world. I spent time with former CIA director Jim Woolsey from the Clinton years, uh, former CIA director Porter Goss from the Bush years, uh, former head of Mossad, Danny Atom, and others, asking them, what do you worry about? This was a year and a half ago, a year ago. And what keeps you up at night? And they said ISIS and the threat that this could uh, uh, be a metamorphosis from Al Qaeda in Iraq to something really horrific. And it's gone much faster, honestly, than I imagined. I was, I was thinking this was a five year out from a threat. And that's why I wanted to write the third target. But uh, it's, it's moving much faster and more dangerously than I even had anticipated. Well, and I know that uh, you live and work quite a bit in that region, and there are concerns about many of the other uh, countries and states that are uh, there in the region. Um, we've got word today of ISIS trying to get a foothold in Lebanon now. They want to establish some type yes. of bases there as well. Um, but there are so many other countries that this is the reality of what lives on their border every day. Um, do you address that in the book as well? Well, yeah, the, the novel is about a New York Times uh, reporter, a foreign correspondent, who hears a rumor that ISIS has captured a cache of chemical weapons uh, in Syria. And he and his colleagues sneak into Syria, try to interview the commander of ISIS on the ground. And what emerges is an enormous threat, uh, a genocidal threat. Uh, the question that the reporter is trying to figure out is, who is ISIS going to hit next? Right? Because they're already trying to bring down the government of Syria. ISIS is trying to bring down the government of Iraq. So what's the next target? What's the third target? Is that the United States? Is it Israel? Is it Lebanon? Is it Jordan? Uh, you know, there's a lot of options available to the Islamic State, and they are, they're a horrific force. Al-Qaeda has denounced ISIS as being too radical. That's how, that's how horrific it is. Yeah, that's saying something. And one thing I love, because you write nonfiction and fiction, one of the things I love about your, your fiction books, too, is while they're entertaining, they also um, make us think about and have a conversation about very important things. And you say there that we need to be thinking ahead. Um, who is that third target? Um, and there's so much in that region that um, we can't ignore. That's right. Well, you see, look, you've got over about a quarter of a million people are dead now in Syria. You've got the largest number of murders and, and deaths in Iraq this past year, 2014, uh, since 2006, 2007. Um, and it's getting worse because the Islamic State is literally beheading people, crucifying people, slaughtering people, selling little girls into sexual slavery. I mean, it, it's a horrific situation. And yet I'm concerned, Shannon, and one of the reasons I wrote the book is complacency. Uh, too many political leaders are becoming complacent uh, about how serious the threat is and the stakes. I mean, a year ago, the president told us that ISIS was not a threat. They were a JV team. Last summer, they said ISIS was engaged in genocide. Well, okay, if they're engaged in genocide, why is this such a, a slow-moving process to defeat them? And what the third target does, fictionally, is take us into a world in which they are not defeated, in which they capture chemical weapons, and then all hell breaks loose far worse than what we currently see. All right, Joel, it is fascinating. Always enjoy your books, but I always caution people, don't pick them up if you don't have time because it's almost <laughs> impossible to put them down. A new book out this week. Uh, Joel, thank you very much. Always great to see you. Great to see you, Chan. Thanks.